Hello, welcome to a month long vlog. It might be in order, it might not be. Will you notice? Nah, you're not even gonna notice. Don't have the iPad right here, but what I do have is something real old school. Notebook and paper, notebook and paper in this. So I have some bullet points on here. Anything I feel like might help you understand some of the footage that it is that you're looking at. I've got this here. Erica Badu said, put real pen to real paper and watch your life change. I agree. I don't always keep it up, but anytime I do that, I'm like, wow, wow. You could own the world, but you don't. I don't really own a whole lot. I don't even know if you're gonna be a homeowner one day. Keep your credit score decent so you can keep renting apartments. <laughs> okay, let's get into the video. The first thing I have down here is about living room sets. I had this idea to make iconic living room sets. I know friends would be probably number one, the first one you think of. I didn't do it. I ain't never seen an episode. I feel like that would be a big ticket, big seller. I'm doing this for TikTok, by the way. Yeah, well, that's a lie. It's partially for TikTok, partially for me. Whatever, I'm not explaining my obsession with little things. So I made Fred Sanford's living room from Sanford and Son. To me, I think it's a very iconic set. I like when there's a lot to look at. Probably shouldn't have said that. I feel like my mother just watched this back and was like, oh, but you call me a hoarder. You tell me to throw away my entire life. And she's not wrong. She's, I offer to throw away her life all the time. She never takes me up on it. But I, I like Fred Sanford, he's not a hoarder because this is his business. These things on the wall, all that junk, he's gonna sell that. It has potential to be sold. So in my mind, he's not a hoarder. I don't have any of his other pieces with me. I did apply the glaze too thick on certain pieces in certain areas. I see where it's cloudy. I don't like that, but I still like the pieces. And I also wish that I had made Lamont. Maybe Esther and the TV set. I feel like the TV for sure was a part of the show. He watched TV a lot. The set is missing a couple of things. And again, I don't know how I'm gonna do it in the future. I don't know how that will evolve, evolve, yeah, um, through TikTok. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still very pleased with him. Yeah, and He's so I wish it could zoom. Um, it's hot. Before I go into this lady who donated all the books, I can talk about this over the shots. Where are they? Hold on. Okay, here it is. I was paying $2.99 to $5.99 for immunity shots. I'm sure you've seen them uh, probably at Whole Foods. Any health store, I see them. They're in cute little glass bottles. Robert Earl, don't start. Different shots for different things. I like the lemon, ginger, pineapple. Okay, if I don't set this up here, he's gonna drink it. But I don't want this big orange straw in the way. Are you cute? You're so handsome. Okay, so here's how I make these shots. I peel off the skin on the ginger. I blend them with that lemon juice and pineapple. Then I strain that and I pour it into glass bottles and I give it to people and take it every day myself. I take like a shot a day, okay? It's much cheaper to do it this way than it is to buy it. It's not really fun to make, but something about it is kind of fun to make. I think because it smells good as you're doing it. Are they doing anything for me? I'm not sure. I think it can't hurt, so you might as well do it. But I don't know, I like them. Matter of fact, I'll probably make some tonight. Let's see. I started the thought right here and then I'm like, no, that has to go in a different spot. So now I can tell you about the lady in the books. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was going somewhere. Got lost, I had to use the bathroom. On my way to use the restroom, I see these signs that say book sale. Well, you know I've been reading books. You know I'm getting real smart. I see this book sale. I go, relieve myself, and I'm like, no, I'm turning back around like I'm going to this book sale. The signs lead me to a library. And look at this library. 
you know I ran up in there. You know I cannot wait to get inside of there. It's old. I already love it. From the 1800s. Please let me inside. It has a slightly haunted look. Again, I want to be in there. Another point, there's a museum upstairs. Fourth point, beautiful tree. There's like these huge, huge trees. Did I film those? Never mind. Let's skip the trees. So in the back of this library was a room filled top to bottom with books. And this is where the book sale was. Softbacks, softbacks, paperbacks, paperbacks, 50 cents. Is a softback a turtle? No, soft shell tortoise. What Wait, and editing those wires and that burnt candle? It's gonna bug me. Better. All right, 50 cents for paperback, $1 for hardcovers. So you might be wondering why it is I'm bringing this up to you. Well, one, I'm limited on content. I don't have nothing to talk with y'all about. My life is boring. Let me spin the story, okay? Let me mention this before I mention the rest of the stuff about the books, because I do have a note about it right here. It says, one of the books I found, Where the Heart Is, I love the movie. I like that I put in there that I love the movie, like I was gonna forget. Here's what I'll tell you about Where the Heart Is. We had it. I believe on VHS. We didn't have cable. We had a handful of movies. That's one of them. We watched it a lot. So I can quote it line for line, okay? I think it's a great, great movie. To this day, anytime I feel a little funky, I'll say, we're all starting to smell. I just say it randomly. Another fun fact, when someone moves into a new place, I always wanna get them a Buckeye tree and I wanna pull up and go, this here is a Buckeye tree. It'll bring you good luck. I don't know why. What is that? This? It's a buckeye tree. Brings you good luck. Here, take it. There. I don't know why. Another fun fact. You may be thinking, how many fun facts do you have? Let me have this moment. Another fun fact. My grandpapa used to keep, grandpapa, that's new for you. Let me just be country with it. My granddaddy, my granddaddy used to keep a buckeye in his pocket. Matter of fact, I bring him up again in this vlog. So let's start it. My grandfather used to keep a buckeye in his pocket for good luck. And he would give buckeyes to people if he found them. Be like, keep this on you, sis. It'll bring you good luck. So of course, when I saw that in the movie, I was like, oh my God, Papa. Oh, I had a point. Oh, got off. Now the video is gonna be longer than it needs to be. So in that book I read, I've never read the book, just seen the movie. So in the book, it says that Novali Nation is superstitious against seven. Now, am I wrong? But in the movie, she is superstitious against five. I don't have the movie to go back on and I don't know where it's streaming. And I don't have access to a lot of streaming services, so. I can't double check this, but she didn't like fives, not sevens. Book said sevens. I was just gonna put that out there. And here's the best part. No fives. You and your fives. What five? On my fifth birthday, my mama ran off with a baseball umpire named Fred and never came back. And after I dropped out of school and was waiting tables at Red, one of the regulars there named Gladys went crazy. When I tried to calm her down, she jumped at me with a steak knife and cut me from my wrist to my elbow. And what's that got to do with fives? It took 55 stitches to close her up. I don't like fives. Let's cut on to what I wanted to tell you about this library. So this library, it's from the 1800s, I believe the late 1800s. As I'm going around this room, looking at all these different books, like every other book that I pick up, as soon as I open it, it has this inscription about like a review of the book and the date and stuff. So I go to the lady in the front and I'm like, hey, I don't know if I'm, here's what's funny about me. As I'm grabbing books, right? I would see this because I did get one of them, right? So I would get a book and I'd open it and immediately I would see where she wrote in there. Mary Yar Yarbrough, Yarborough, Yarbrough? I think it's Yarbrough. Anyway, I would see where she had written in inside the book. So at one point, I'm like five books deep. Each book I grab, I'm like, wow, so this is her book too. Grab another book, this is her book too. And in my mind, I'm thinking, this is a sign. How pathetic is that? I thought it was a sign. And so I started stacking up books and I'm like, nah, because I keep pulling the books by this lady, so I gotta buy these books. If anything, it's really just a sign that I need to get out more. Mm -hmm. Yep, true story. I go and I speak to the lady in the front and I'm like, hey, <laughs> wild story, check it out. Every book I grab is by this lady. So cool, huh? And she's like, oh yeah, she has thousands and thousands and thousands of books back there. Because her family donated her books when she passed. And she would write in the book, when she finished the book, the date and time that she finished the book, what she thought of it, and at a certain point, she starts to score the books. So some of them don't have scores and some do, ratings. So the book that I picked up was Dancing at the Harvest Moon by Casey McKinnon. It says November the 4th, it says Mary Yarborough, Yarborough. 
November the 4th, 1997, Tuesday, 11.50 p.m. You must read it. So I, I got it because she said I must read it. This is the only book that I got. Back to her writing in the books. I thought that was really smart. That way when you're passing it on to the next person, think about it, she's not an Amazon review person. She's not gonna Google the reviews of this book. She gave you a review, but she didn't spoil the book for you. But one of the books, I can't really remember. I would have to look on the iPad. It said something like, today is my birthday. Bill died. Maybe some person died. This is the saddest time of my whole life. Wait, it was like, today's my birthday. This is the saddest time of my whole life or something. Bill passed. Someone dies. Robert Earl. I let Robert in. She said that the book wasn't really that good. So then that made me question the rest of her ratings because I was like, well, I didn't think about you having a bad day and then you're reading the book. What if the book's good and you just had a bad day? It just made me question her rating score from then on. Let me get my Dunkin' Cup out the way. This is the library that I'm going into right now. Also throughout this vlog, I was documenting an allergy because it was that pet allergy, the dog one. As people would check in on me, I would send them video clips back of how my eyes or my face, my neck was looking. I looked crazy for a little bit. And anytime I look really bad, that's when people go, let's FaceTime. Let's not, don't, don't call me anymore. I have officially tried all three of her coffees now well i know she has like six or seven fucking trash these are and they're so cute the packaging on them is just so adorable trash trash fine. that's fine i gotta go to You're ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I won't say who, which was literally my guardian angels. I only say that because I have. Hi. Big cup this morning. Delicious. Real good. Wishing the same for you. Um, you also spoke about alcohol and damanana. Um, literally, what like a chicken right now. Super fun fact, my hair is cut into a mullet. It's a curly girl mullet. Doesn't always look like it, but yeah, it's a curly girl mullet.
I'm leaving it here. Yeah. Now I have a video here that says Angela and thrifting. It is $25 to $30 to get a dress here in a thrift store. And I'm talking Target. I'm talking dresses that weren't even that price in the store. In the thrift store, almost $30. Jeans start at 10, go up to about 20. Sometimes 30, 40, 50. If people leave the tags on, if you're gonna donate something, rip the tags off. Just do it, just do it. Because when you leave the tag on, the thrift store then tries to resell it like it's a brand new item for real, for real. People hoard clothes. People leave tags on clothes from the 80s. Don't upcharge me on a garment from the 80s. So anyway, where Angela lives, she has better thrift stores. Like she can get one item for a dollar, like a pair of pants for a dollar. She can get things I've never even heard of. She was asking me what my style was. I shared that with her. I gave her like a little mood board. She sent me this package of clothes. Um, it got ripped. It has a notice about it. And so I was gonna make this video and just send it back to her. And that's what you're seeing here is parts of a video that was just for her, but I decided to share it because we're low on footage. How many times do I have to say it? Let's get started. Sounds like I have a boner. It kind of did look like I had a boner for a second. I'm getting somewhere. So cool. Yo. Good job vacuum sealing. Doesn't have vacuum. Okay. How should I do this? Oh my goodness. Look at this skirt. Like, nah, we got, look. It's got pockets. I don't know what's happening with the brightness. I'm in heaven. LL Bean. My pants are pretty tight, you know, so I could just put things, I can try on over my clothes. I need a mirror in here. I just do. What a perfect fitting pant. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I like them. I'm calling her. I'm putting things together. So 90s, such the vibe. Before some Waiting for my laundry. I'm eating some tomato basil chickpea type snack thing. I look like a Barbie doll. Kyo, I guess I'm my spice now. Currently editing this video, and this scene reminds me to get a splatter guard. I used to fry a lot of foods. I stopped because it's a process to clean up grease. It's not as easy as with like oven cooking. So that's what this reminds me that I never got. See, trying right there. Basically just pushing, pushing grease around. This kitchen doesn't even have a window. Well, it does have a window, but a tree blocks it. So does it have a window? No. Plus, kitchens should have plenty of windows. As you can tell by this scene here, again, it's still so dark in here. And that's with the lights on. I know sometimes when you're filming and with lights on, 
it still appears darker than what it is in person. But that was a hard kitchen to film in. I moved recently and I thought I'll pick a place with more light. I wouldn't say really that I did that because my new kitchen, it doesn't have a window either. And the menu would be the same. Okay, this is in the light. These are the abalis. Got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. Okay, you see it says snakes as a symbol. The snake is also a powerful Bible Belt symbol, representing Satan as tempter, and is featured in worship services of the serpent handling wing, hand, serpent handling wing of the Church of God, a Pentecostal sect. Look, my granddaddy and Uncle Jimmy, they used to make these all the time. They always would whittle a snake. Um, obviously, living off the land, nature's pharmacy. Look at this. Southern stoneware glazes. Look.
stinks in here for nobody to live in here. <laughs> I think that's why it smells like that. I am strolling along, just minding my business, humming a song. I'm happy by myself, not a care in the world. This is a life, just me, myself, and I. I am watching the clouds up in the sky. Hello, good morning. We're out of our favorite coffee. Yeah, this is a five pound bag. 
The reason for that is because I make coffee for a lot of other people and plus I have multiple cups a day and this is my favorite. So why not? Because I can't just go to the store and get it. I gotta order it. Obviously when I was in New Orleans, I tried their different blends. I don't remember what I liked the most. So I ordered more. These, this is it. I don't know which one we're gonna do this morning. This one I've had before. I had it in the store as a pour over, I think. I liked it, I did. And then I went to their local Whole Foods and I bought it, bought a bag. And I brought it back home. Does that say Rougarou? <laughs> Is that Scooby-Doo talk? Ruh, ruh, shaggy. Chocolate brownie sweetness praline caramel. Doesn't that sound good? If you could smell this. The other one that I got is a dark roast. It says premium New Orleans dark roast. Dark, full-bodied, smoky, and earthy. I don't know about that earthiness. But sometimes I feel like I'm, I wasn't a kid who ate dirt, but I, I'm surprised I wasn't a child who ate dirt. I feel like that's a thing I would have liked doing. Maybe I did do it and then my mother beat me and I was like, don't eat dirt anymore. But then I really wouldn't have cared. She could have beat me and I still would have ate dirt on the low. So this one is probably what I'll go with today. Bold, rich, creamy, chocolate, nutty. It smells amazing. I'm also making tea right now. It's iced tea. It's for dinner. We're having fish for dinner. Fish and potatoes. I'm a pasta thing. It's a thing. I'm having some people over. It's a thing. It's going to work with a salad. It's going to work. Anyway, since these two I haven't had, maybe I should do one of these and then that way I can give my opinion on it. Not that you care about my opinion on it, but in the event that you want to order some really delicious coffee, maybe you'd like to know. You know, maybe. But do order this one. You cannot go wrong with this. I ordered a five pound bag. That should tell you something. And I've ordered this multiple times. Like I've gotten four of these. That is it for this video. I do not have a book review for you. I'm in the middle of another book, Robert Earl's coughing or sneezing. I'm in the middle of another book. I have read a book since then and I could have reviewed it during this, but for some reason I didn't want to, but that's fine. That means in my next video, I can review two books. So thank you so much for your time. I'm building a playlist on here. So if you want to show it some love, go on ahead and do that. If you want to put it on loop and let it just play for a long amount of time so that YouTube allows me to be monetized again, you can do that as well. But thumbs up and subscribing, all those things. I love that. I really want to do a giveaway. Like, do I want to give away Fred Sanford? I don't know, but I want to do a giveaway. I wish I knew what I was going to do with my TikTok because I have a couple of things that I'm like, this would be cute. I would like to win this in a raffle. I would like to enter something for a chance to win one of these ceramic pieces. For instance, my cowboy hat ashtray. Look at this thing. It's cute. It has a little divot here where you put your stick, okay? Whatever it is you're smoking. I have a hole in the back so you can hang it on the wall. That way you never lose your ashtray. Then you're ready to smoke. Look at your ashtray off the wall, okay? Has a hole in the bottom so you can walk around. Like maybe you like to talk on the phone and stand and smoke. I got you covered. Like how cool would it be to put one of these in the raffle? I don't know. I want to do something though, you know? But um, thank you so much for your love. I also want to do a video. I know, I'm all over the place. I also want to do a video of talking to you. Just like answering some of your questions, little stuff like that. I like those. I like those. It feels like we're connecting whenever I make them. Okay, this has been good. Again, thank you. I love you. When's the last time somebody told you that they loved you and it wasn't like your parents or your partner or your kids? When's the last time a stranger said it? That's what I thought. Mm. This has been good. This has been good. I'll see you in the next video.